components of morality Durkheim gave three components of morality discipline attachment and autonomy about discipline a, he was uh, talking about a constraint upon one's egoistic impulses that is uh, uh, something about ego that's the person uh, he would like to uh, discipline it put it according to the uh, let's say needs of the society so individual interests and group interests uh, should not come in conflict with each other maybe the group in interests uh, are supreme and one's interest should be subordinate to the group interest so discipline confronts one with one's moral duty that the duty is uh, to the society rather than to the individual so apne individual jo hai wo apne interest ko sacrifice bhi kar sakta hai for the for the interest of the society so when that kind of discipline comes in then when whenever the person sacrifices uh, his personal interest for the sake of group or for the society that might make the person happy so that makes one happier because it limits his desires wo samajhta hai ki wo society ke liye wo acha kaam kar raha hai society ki behtri cha raha hai wo selfish nahi hai to society again here becomes supreme then the second point was the attachment now attachment means warm voluntary positive aspect of group commitment now this commitment uh, is more like a willing attachment uh, with the group or with the society now this uh, also requires uh, jisko kehte hain commitment and uh, also sacrificing for for the group again uh, sacrificing means ke apne interests jo hain those are subordinate to the group so it requires commitment and subordination to the uh, to the group to the will of the group to, to the interests of the group to the welfare of the society or the group so self subordinates to group that uh, attachment compels us to uh, realize uh, ourselves now this uh, also may be a means to persons uh, self fulfillment it might uh, lead to its uh, happiness thirdly he is talking about autonomy a sense of individual responsibility for one's uh, actions a uh, rationally grounded impulse of the will ultimately all this is uh, decided by the society so society as the source of uh, right and wrong uh, you call it morality so ideally one is almost wholly jisko kehte hain wholly submits to the will of the society so society agar kisi cheez ko theek keh rahi hai correct keh rahi hai to person goes by that so ideally one is almost wholly controlled from without that means uh, ke wo society ke norms ko observe kar raha hai uh, society ki expectations pe pura utar raha hai dusre lafzon mein aap keh lijiye ke he is completely uh, abiding by the norms of the society requirements of the society so we could call this person as conformist so should that that is how he looks at uh, Uh, autonomy so moral education uh, was important uh, for for the people for the for the children starting from school as well as for the adults so maybe at the place of their work so morality in modern society is based on scientific understanding rather than myths and symbols of the previous moral systems now this morality might be uh let's say uh, part of the uh, education 
so we might inculcate the true morality through schooling so that schooling is the process where individual acquires the physical intellectual and most important moral tools needed to the functioning of the society therefore education should help children to develop a moral attitude towards society and for that purpose schools can be good nurseries for the inculcation of moral uh, let's say values uh, amongst the children here he looks at classroom as a as a miniature kind of society where uh, we can inculcate uh, the discipline uh, devotion to, to society as well as uh, autonomy autonomous view among, amongst the children so teaching morality is neither to preach nor to indoctrinate it is actually to explain explain means ke hum logic ke zariye se jo cheez hum batana inculcate karna chahte hain about right and wrong that has to be explained so it is not preaching but explaining ki jo bhi hum keh rahe hain uske piche reasoning kya hai uske piche logic kya hai so reasoning aur logic ke sath hum convince kare bachon ko to phir wo ek permanent kism ki morality unme inculcate ho sakti hai dusri taraf wo kehta hai adults ki baat hai to adults ke liye he looks at the their place of work so he proposed occupational associations to restore collective morality and to cope with some of the capable let us say pathologies of the modern division of labor so in his opinion division of labor might be creating problems create kar rahi hai deviations create kar rahi hai so adults ke liye occupational associations hain jo ye kar sakti hain bachon ke liye wo kehta hai school ke zariye hame morality create karni chahiye inculcate karni chahiye